Hello, my crafty friends. Well, today I have a fun fold card idea to share that you can make in about five minutes. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have a fun fold card idea that really is so super simple that you can create it in about five minutes. And I have two different ways that you can use this fun fold in your card making. Now the cards in this video feature the Sentimental Park bundle from Stampin' Up! So this particular bundle includes a stamp set and a coordinating die set. And this is one of the new bundles that will be coming out in the mini catalog, which starts January 5th. And I'm also featuring this particular bundle in my birthday card making club. So if you want to get a jump start on creating your birthday cards, then definitely check out this club. You can get all the details on the club by clicking on the link featured in the description below this video. All right, so let's get started. So first, let's talk about how to create the base of this card. So you're going to start with a piece of cardstock, which is cut at five and a half by eight and a half. And you're going to score it at one and a quarter inches and four and a quarter inches. And then what you're going to do is just fold on the score lines. So we'll fold the card in half first. So you can see it's just your standard card base when it's closed. It's four and a quarter by five and a half. And then we're just going to take this little one and a quarter inch section and we're going to fold it back on top of itself. So once you have folded this section backwards, then you're just going to glue it down. So you're going to add some glue to this particular section and just glue it back down on top of itself. So that will make up the base of your fun fold card. Now you can use this fun fold card design in portrait style. We can decorate it in portrait style or we can turn it and we can decorate it in landscape style. So I'm gonna give you some ideas for decorating it in both portrait style and landscape style. So first let's talk about how to create it in portrait style. So you're going to use the card base that I just showed you how to create, and we're gonna decorate it this direction in the portrait style. So you're going to cut two pieces of pattern paper and they're both one by five and a quarter inches. And so one of the pieces is gonna go on that little flap that we adhered to our card front. So this little section right here, so we'll put that there. And then this other piece is going to go on the inside of the card but you will be able to see it from the outside of the card. So when the card is closed, you'll be able to see this little section. So I recommend just keeping your card closed to adhere this one inch piece. All right, so we'll set this aside for a second. So the next thing I did is I just created a little die cut shape using the Sentimental Park dies. And so I'm just going to stamp a little greeting right in the center of this. Now you can use any greeting. So again, you can make this card for any occasion. It doesn't have to be a thank you card. So let's bring this back. And we're going to be adhering this to this little front flap here. So I'm gonna add just a couple dimensionals to the back. And you wanna make sure that you only add dimensionals to the side that is going to be on this front flap here of the card. So notice how I didn't add any dimensionals to that side. That's because it's going to hang over on to this section of the card. So the next thing I did is just cut out one of the florals from one of the pieces of designer paper and I'm just gonna pop that up there on the card. And then I'm just going to embellish the front with a couple of these new milky dots. Okay, so that's what the front of the card looks like. And again, you can use any pattern paper or supplies that you have on hand to create this fun fold. So to finish off the inside, I'm going to add a two and a half by five and a quarter inch piece of white cardstock. So I'm just gonna add this over on the left side on the inside of the card. Now you can do your stamping beforehand. 
and then adhere this piece. But I'm just gonna add my little images. All right, so there's the card in portrait style. Okay, the second way that you can use this fun fold card in your card making is to decorate it in this landscape style. So the first one was decorated this direction. Now I'm simply just turning the card base and I'm gonna decorate it in this direction. So you're going to start with the same card base that I showed you how to make at the beginning of this video. And we're just gonna turn it into the landscape style and we're gonna decorate it in this direction. So we're gonna start with the same size pieces that we started for the portrait style. So these are both one by five and a quarter inches. And so I'm just going to adhere those just like I did with the portrait style one. So we'll adhere those to these front sections. And then for this style, since we're decorating it in this direction, I decided to add another piece of designer paper here. And so that piece is one and five eighths by five and a quarter inches. And so this will just fit up directly against this little lip here. And it'll just give a nice little matting up here on the top. So now we'll just create our focal point. So again, I used the Sentimental Park dies to create my little piece for my greeting. So I'm just going to use thanks. So we're just going to add some dimensionals to this. And I'm going to keep the dimensionals up towards the top here. So the, this bottom part is going to hang off onto that bottom section of the card. And then I just cut out a couple little florals from the designer paper. You can also stamp these. So I'm just gonna add these with a couple of glue dots just to kind of decorate this up a little bit. Okay, the piece for the inside is the same as it was for the portrait style. So this is two and a half, and this up here is five and a quarter. So I'm going to stamp my images on here first. So once you've completed your stamping, then you can go ahead and add this piece to the top part of the inside of the card. So it's just a super simple and absolutely beautiful card idea. Okay, so there you go. Now you have two different ways that you can use this fun fold card in your card making. And if you enjoyed these card ideas, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.